Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the most popular baseline pattern for tech house and bass house. I've also included a free download of the MIDI pattern so you can drag it and drop it right into your DAW. Okay, let's get after it. My girl, your girl, my girl is way too fly and she don't even try. Yo, yo, it's Thomas Anthony from finishbettermusic.com where we train good producers to become great producers. Every week on this channel, I upload a new tutorial where I show you how to create music similar to popular artists or break down my own personal projects. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the most popular baseline pattern for tech house and bass house. This rhythm is used in hundreds of songs and by artists such as Dom Dalla, Mala, uh, John Summit, just to name a few. And I'm gonna show you how these guys use it and how they keep it fresh even after using it over and over and over again. Now, there's a link in the description below to download the MIDI file, so you can just drag it, drop it into your own song, switch out the sounds, and then use it on your own projects. Okay, let's get into the song, baby. I have four tracks up in here that I've just randomly, honestly, went to <clears throat> the B-Port Top t uh, 10 and also uh, the Tech House chart and also the Bass House chart. So Volax Candy Shop, uh, Matroda's Disco Tool, um, Dom Dollars Pump Your Brakes, and what other one did I have? Candy Shop, Pump Your Brakes, Disco Tool, and Volax Lose Control. So just four tracks and honestly, this was just, I literally did this in about f two minutes. I just went to the top 10 and I was like, bam, bam, bam. Those are three that have um, this really popular bass line. But if you go through the top 100, which I've done several, like not several, hundreds of times. Um, and I've just looked through and I've seen this popular pattern. This pattern is probably like a staple in the tech house and bass house um, genre. And it's very simple. I hear it in every tracks and it gets used over and over again. Where I started noticing this was in um, a Torn Foot's More Life song. And I was like, wow, this is a really cool baseline pattern. And then I started seeing it freaking everywhere. Now, all of these songs, I'm going to play them. I'm going to show you what I mean here. Um, but I have transposed um, all of these down to semitones just so I won't get flagged by the YouTube uh, Mama Jamma. Uh, so the first song is this Lose Control. So it goes boom, 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 boom. Next one. This one's boom, 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 boom. A little bit different, but same pattern. Boom, 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 and then the last one. Boom, 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 boom. So that is the pattern. So I'm going to show you quickly. Uh, I've just made these drums. It's literally a simple drum of just kick, clap, and a hi hat. So I'll let you hear that first. So I just made this. Very, very simple. And then I have made a pattern, I pre-made this pattern, and you can download this pattern in the, there's a link in the description to download it. So you can check that out um, and just download it or whatever uh, and use it in your songs because I've just made one of these and I use it all the time. Um, so the pattern is, this is the, the pattern that I made with everything. Just gonna make sure that's off. Now, this is just literally using the note of F. I haven't done any other uh, notes uh, here to give us some flavor. So this is just the pattern. So I'm going to so I'm gonna remake this. I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to delete everything. <clears throat> and, oops, let's bring this here. And I'll just delete everything just to show you how easy it is to make this pattern. And then I'll go into explaining how to vary it up and how to like how these songs are different um, but by still using the same pattern so this guy hit me up on tinder last night and the first thing i did was check out his soundcloud Ugh, not another shitty producer <sighs> yep you guessed it his mixes were so unbalanced and weak gross he probably learned everything on youtube mm -hmm. such a turn off yeah he had no idea how to compress his drums either i just wish more guys knew what they were doing in the studio Right? Guys who know exactly how much distortion to use, oh, it turns me on so much. Oh, it gets so wet when a guy can make a song that can keep me interested all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh my god, yes, there's nothing hotter than an interesting song and a mix that sounds good on every system. So if we look here, we can literally just go in and look, start reading the waveforms. We can see here, there's like a big bass note. Then these dark ones are kind of like hi-hat things. So it has big bass note. And then we see this other little blob right here. This is um, a bass note. So we can see it just goes off a little bit. Then this one, there's one there too, one there too, and then one there too. And then it's usually like a kick drum and then a note, note, and note, or just note, and note and maybe another little one right there or note and then a little note right there so it's really important to start reading waveforms because it does help out um, uh, when you're trying to figure stuff out so if I go here and I'm just gonna grab a little F we'll start an F because I like the F key and we're just gonna go halfway and then from there I am going to bring it over to there so I'm lining it up basically with that. And then I'm going to line it up. I'm just gonna choose this one because this one seems to be the, uh, has the biggest blobs. So then there's a note there, there's a note there, and there is a note there. And probably a note here. So now I have it boom, 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 boom. There might actually not even be a note there and it could just be the kick drum. It really, this is where kind of flavor uh, comes into play. Now, if we listen to this, let's hear how this sounds. So that's pretty cool. We could also put that note in there. Now, why this is so effective is it because it is because it uses um, this note that's not on the beat. And this is where rhythm comes in because we're getting an actual note that's just like not on beat. There are good songs. I actually just made one that comes out uh, tomorrow uh, or no, next week, next Tuesday, um, where I did just use on the beat notes. But what I've noticed from some of my students is they have a like a a tendency to make notes just like this. So actually just keeping them on the beat and then it'll just do stuff like this. And that sounds okay, but it's just, it's like, it'd be like getting chicken wings with no spice on it or something like that or not using hot sauce on anything. It's just very bland and it's not that great. And this little note here before the, the second bar or second note, um, is, is, is what gives it that flavor. Now, as we can see here, the length of this note and the beginning part of it will give a different flavor. So like if we, that's pretty much going on the 114, then we could bring it over a little bit shorter to maybe this one. And that gives it a slightly different flavor. So that is basically um, the main pattern. Now I want to go into something that is a little bit more detailed and that is choosing the right sounds that I always talk about choosing the right sounds especially in my mentoring program and by the way if you are uh, struggling with music or you want to just get your music to the next level check out finishbettermusic.com um, you can find out all the information about our mentoring program see what our students have to say um, we have like I leave all their names up there so you can hit up any of these guys uh, at any time and ask them how how useful the program was I stand by it we've also got some free resources so some breakdown sample packs and guides and to join the program you just fill out this form give us all the information that we need to help you when we uh, set up a call and then we will uh, hit you up uh, set up a call and go through exactly how I can help you get to the music to that blah, 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 blah. <laughs> music to the next level <laughs> uh, but yeah and what we focus on in the program too is like essentially ripping your part track apart and building it back up from scratch so that we teach you everything that needs to go into a full and complete track now as i've done here let's look at this first uh baseline pattern so here i'm just going to loop this section here now that's sounding pretty tight now if we go in the next like part of something that i would do is to start throwing in start messing with some of these notes I don't really like that there. I like this going up there. And another little trick with tech housey stuff, you can go, if you just go up one note, technically it's not in the scale. Um, it's in a different kind of scale, but it sounds really nice. 
And then maybe at the last phrase we could have, we could go dun 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 dun. So that's something tight. Now, if we listen to all of these tracks, this goes boom, ba dum, boom, 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 boom. We can start switching out different notes, uh, sounds for each of these notes. So this could be a different note, this could be a different note, or sorry, this could be a different sound, this could be a different sound, this could be a different sound, and then these could all be the same sound. So by just switching up the actual patches in each of these, um, just by duplicating it and uh, replicating the, or changing the sound, it's gonna give you a different flavor. Same with this one. Please, baby, will you try to please pose that one's all the same sound. Now this one, they're using a lot shorter of notes, and this is where I wanna go into the actual patch of things. So I've just literally grabbed, um, what's his face? Um, Evo Sounds, Zen World. I've just been ripping through his pack because it's the easiest tech house one, but we listen to this. Oh, where is he? Let's go Deceiver. Any of the Deceiver ones, really. Now, a big thing we're gonna have to mess around with is kind of like the decay time, so we're trying to get the right pluckiness. Or the attack time. Or just the same time, I mean. So that's going to make it more plucky. Too much. So this is something I probably mess. So shortening the decay time, this gives it a more flavorful feel like the Matroda Blue Claire song. Um, and again, by using a combination of this, so uh, messing with the attack, sustain, and um, uh, the, sorry, the decay and the sustain, along with switching out some of these sounds with different patches, it's going to give you a different flavor. So again, just download this, test it out in your songs. I literally threw this together in five minutes. Super simple uh, pattern. What's awesome about this too is that it doesn't change really throughout the 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 uh the song the bass line just stays the same and that's something that's very interesting like you make a little motif like this and then it doesn't change after that and then you can go uh you can spend your time finding cool like drop sounds like the leady sounds and all the f effects that go over top to make your song very very interesting and that's again something we really help our students with in the mentoring program so if you got any uh value out of this video i'd love it if you hit the like button um leave a comment if you want to see another video like this or any other tips you want me to make a video on and uh go give me a follow on instagram i respond to all my dms and again you can find out about all my music i also do posts i'm actually going to be starting a new little uh <laughs> little uh uh, not, I'm not going to be doing these questions anymore. Well, I will still be doing all the caption of them, uh, so I'll be giving tips away, but I'm going to be start doing lightsaber videos. I started recently, uh, I got a puppy, as you can see here, and I have been, um, found a new hobby, which is lightsaber dancing, or lightsaber flowing, <laughs> and I am friggin' in love with it, and, uh, now I'm going to start making content, because I think it's way more, way cooler to look at that than this like why well, your playlists are not important not that this isn't great but whatever um anyways i have a song coming out next uh tuesday next monday it's called um it's a remix call of my girl by case of the mondays uh it's super badass tune i'm super stoked about it, it comes out next tuesday would love it if you pre-saved it there'll be a link down in the description again you can download this and again if you need help with your music fill out this form and we'll schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session the next uh round will be probably in june no july um is when the next round will open up so apply and we'll hit you back all right hope you got some of this till next time peace